I was a huge fan of the real Ghostbusters. So when Extreme Ghostbusters came on, I really didn't give it a shot. That was a mistake. This show is very well written and pretty damn dark. And I highly recommend this show. Also a lot of homages to the 80s 90 horror movies. Comment down below if you have a favorite monster, demon, or ghost from Extreme Ghostbusters. All the way in the Far East, the name Gumo is used in fairy tales to scare little children. Gumo, the bone demon, was released from his long prison and started terrorizing the streets of Chinatown, taking the bones right from his victims. Ouch. This whole episode is inspired by Big Trouble in Little China. No currency required, no payment do I need, satisfaction completely guaranteed. The salesman's a demon that'll make your wish come true. Except your wish won't come out the way you want to. In fact, it will come out horribly wrong. When he gets enough wishes, the con artist demon will pack up and leave for a new city. The salesman's heavily inspired by the Wishmaster. Yes, my love. I will be yours. <gasps> and you will be mine! Leonard Bates discovers an old well at his new house, and makes a wish for a new wife. Hmm, that sounds like a good idea. However, that old well is really a demon known as the Wish Giver, and creates the Ghost Bride to suck out the life force out of her supposed new boyfriend. Leonard will have to get the help of the Ghostbusters, or he will fall prey to the Ghost Bride. But you're in my realm now, where I can inflict the pain of death a thousand times over. The mirror demon resides in a realm within the mirrors. By using the mirrors, he sends out his army of ghost chasers to take over the bodies of humans. Can the Ghostbusters figure out who is who and stop the mirror demon from taking over the world? This episode is inspired by The Thing. He commands gold, that's the devil to pay! <laughs> the Celtic Mystic Circle has been accidentally broken, and the Leprechaun, after being locked up since the early 20th century, is now free. Now he seeks revenge on the descendants on those who locked him up and took his gold. The Leprechaun is strongly based on, well, of course, the Leprechaun. Come to me! Akira has come to the Big Apple to spread her deadly plague on the people of New York City. Egon will have to form a new cast of Ghostbusters to stop the destroyer of civilizations. The revolution will begin. In the near future, Tempest is a ghost who has taken over the world. It is also heavily hinted that the Ghostbusters were killed off. In present time, the extreme Ghostbusters will have to stop Tempest from opening the containment unit and releasing his army of ghosts into the world. Brethren, let the procedure begin. Kriniak made a deal with book writer J.N. Klein. Whatever the author writes would come true. Klein's most famous books were actually about Kraniac, and with that the Demented Butcher and his minions were able to cross into the physical world. Kraniac and the Vathex are based on the Cenobites from Hellraiser. The Grundle is back, and no child is safe especially those who have been naughty. But the real Ghostbusters have already captured the Grundle. Did he somehow escape the containment unit? Or is there another one? And what history does Kylie have with the Grundle? <laughs> A nest of vampire clowns have settled into Coney Island. Not only do they eat their victims, but they also have the ability to turn them into evil clowns. For example, Eduardo has been infected, 
and the Ghostbusters will have to fight one of their own. They must figure out a cure before it's too late. The vampire clowns are without a doubt inspired by the killer clowns from outer space. If this video pleases you, then drop a like, comment, but don't forget to subscribe to this channel.